Yeah. Well, Dan, I think you've played the last eight. Um, was there a feeling after the Tranmere game, perhaps, that maybe you cracked it and the, and the last three performances have been a bit of a... Um, just a reminder that it, you have to keep keep on, on, on the standards all the time? Well, definitely it is a reminder. Uh, I don't think we thought we'd cracked it. Um, it was a great performance and result at Tranmere um, against a tough side. But, yeah, like you said, it is a reminder that, you know, if we need reminding, that um, you need to be at it every single game and um, doing things right all the time. And we'll look to put that right again Saturday. Form's not a tap, is it? You can't just turn it on and off. It, it might take a, a, a game or two to get back up to that level again. Yeah, I think we've got the capabilities to get get there. Um, you know, I don't think it's too far. You know, it's not like we lost four 0 three games in a row. Um, just little bits that we need to improve as a whole, and uh, I think we can get back to that without a doubt. Um, and we aim to do that. What was the reaction on the bus on the way back from Welling? At one one, because for a lot of the game it looked like it might be nil nil, and then of course you know this explosion at the end with their goal, which might have left you with nothing, and then your equaliser right in the dying seconds. No, it wasn't a good atmosphere. Um, when you're top of the league, you want to win every game. Um, so whether we scored in the last minute or not, you know we want to be going and winning games. Um, you know, I was disappointed at half time and disappointed at the end. Um, we don't want that feeling again. So we need to go and make sure each and every one of us that, that we take care of that. How good are Woking or conversely how good could they be? I mean their form lately has been a bit up and down. They, they can be a very good team in my opinion obviously I played there and when I was there we played some very good football at times um, you know the gaffer there gets them all up for it you know he doesn't let anyone take their foot off the gas um, so you know they, their form's obviously not been as good as it has been this season so far but on any given day if the players they've got do it they'll be a tough opposition tactically how would Gary Hill like like to set up how would how would he set up most of the time well it's difficult to say I think a lot has changed there since I left with I think maybe injuries and more lone players so I don't really know how he's do, how he's going about it at the minute but you know we've just got to make sure we're focused on what we need to do um, from the start and um, yeah, like I said before, hopefully we can get back to that them winning ways and that winning feeling. Uh, nine to go. It, it, is this as close as you've been to achieving something really significant in your career? And, and does it feel like an exciting time for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, and it does. Yeah, we've just got to, obviously with the previous three performances. You know, we we want to be enjoying it. Uh, we want to be winning. So um, you know, we, we've just got we just got to focus, remain calm, and and go and enjoy playing football and winning games, being at the top, which is an enjoyable thing. Uh, and being patient if the goal takes a while or a breakthrough takes a while, because it, it, it didn't happen against Gateshead and it, you know, it didn't happen against Welling right until right, right at the end. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it doesn't matter. You know, obviously, it's brilliant to score early. It gives you a great hold in the game. But you know, if it doesn't, then we've just got to keep working, keep doing what we're good at. And you know, we, we've got the ability, we've got the players to create something out of nothing or you know, as a team create a lot of opportunities in a game so we've just got to make sure we're doing that. Has there been, uh, you said about the atmosphere on the way back from the bus, has there been a kind of a, uh, a benefit this week of not having a midweek game just to try and refocus the brains if you like? Um, I'm not sure really, um, I think we all want to go and put, put things right and go and play the next game and get a, get a good feeling again, um, not it's a bad feeling but I just mean get that winning feeling, that winning winning ways again so whenever the next game is we'll tackle it um, and and I'm looking forward to trying to you know put wrong put right what you know we have we haven't been doing in the last couple of games is the key to to being successful in these last nine games just relaxing and enjoying yourself yeah I think you know <clears throat> we've played a lot of games this season and um, you've got to play it's a cliche but just you know, play the next game, play who's in front of you, enjoy playing and, and hopefully it will take care of itself. Well, it will if we've got the players, the squad, everything to, you know, take care of each game as it comes. So that's what we've just got to do, relax, play the game, work hard and, and it'll happen. Yeah, Pelly said last week that after the Welling game that, that perhaps the focus had been on too much on the end game and 
you, you, you almost need to take the promotion and the league title out of it, out of the equation almost, and just concentrate on those ninety minutes. Yeah, exactly. That's that's all you can do. And you know, everyone says it in every league, like, oh, we just concentrate on the next game. But that's what you have to do because that's what's in front of you. And the next game won't be there if you don't perform in this game because the manager won't pick you or you behind or whatever so you, you've just got to perform the next game you can that's the mo most important game in your career is your next game because it's the only one there <laughs> yeah. uh, we had 20 minutes up front with Morgs last week bit bit different to, to Wrighty um, obviously having him back competing for, for your place as well as the other place must 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 steal your mind a bit that's brilliant Like I came here to have competition it makes you a better player um, having better players trying to push you for position you've got to give more, give that 1% maybe you didn't know you had or you know it, it pushes you, you can take things off other players as well, the, w the way they do things, what works for them and you know it's, it's, it's good for me, that's what I want, like the higher you go, the better players you're going to be around and more competition you're going to have so yeah I take it as a good thing. Excellent.